Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, April 9th, so that means Pioneer, and we got it at a league dump today. Um, there's been some weirdness in what uh, Wizards of the Coast has been posting on their website this week. We still haven't gotten a modern league uh, deck dump all week, so anyway, here's Pioneer. We've got 27 decks in today's dump, so let's take a look. Our first one here from Oatsy is the Clothet. This is a little tweak on the Clothus Gruel deck that's been going around. We've got a few more uh, Planeswalkers than typical. Usually you only see the Chandra, but uh, interesting little uh, Gruel list here. Or maybe big Gruel list. we got Glorybringers. Questing Beasts. Kind of a Gruel midrange. Kind of like it. I Plants. 5-0 with Mono Black. And... This is a relative... Four Gifted Aetherborn is the two drop in here. And Scrap Heap Scrounger. So, a uh, good little uh, monoblock list. Always around. Niku... Niku... Let's see. Niku Niku? Something like that? With... What is this? This is interesting. Raul Zarek. Sarkhan Fireblood. Sarkhan the Masterlist. Dragons. Is this... This is some sort of dragon... Tribalish theme, blue red dragons. I'm not exactly sure what Narset is doing in this deck, but Silumgar Scorn. That's that's some spice. Treasure Cruise. Interesting little blue red dragons list. It's it's almost like it's trying to be a control list, but yeah. Interesting tweak. That looks fun to play. This, this one, I might pass this one by my son and see what he does with it. Yanli with Hardened Scales. Deck is definitely seeing a resurgence. And, uh, yeah, it's been uh, climbing up the ranks of the pre uh, preliminary listings. So be on the watch for this deck. Showing up more and more. Underdog 111 with the uh, Sultai... Uh, delirium list. <laughs> I guess it's sort of delirium. It's not running. Uh, the uh, sorcery, the searching sorcery. That the name escapes me right now. Traverse the Uvenwald. That's it. But yeah, this is this is Sultai in in one form or other. True can she with a slightly different... Let's see. This is Sultai Traverse. Sultai Delirium, where this one is a little more almost a ramp-style Sultai, kind of. Interesting comparison between these two lists here. Where they're trying to do the same thing in different colors. Or in the same colors. But... This one feels more... Uh, Trukanchi's list feels more flexible versus Underdog 111's list. But they're both running four Uros, so there you go. Uh, Karan, Karanos Red with the Lotus Breach deck. Uh, a little I'm used to seeing more Thassa's Oracles than this, but yeah. This is Lotus Breach. Part of the format right now. Lord of the Lobsters with Niv Mizzet. And this is running one Clothus, four Caryatids, no further. Uh, any other interesting stuff in here? Enter the God Eternals. Two Nahiris. Tamio. Tamio is interesting. Not a Niv hit. Oh no, this Tamio is. Sorry. Uh, I was thinking earlier, Tamio. Yeah, get stuff back out of the graveyard. Hmm. Kind of cool. Gets those uh, Niv Mizzets back after they get destroyed. Tirano with Sultai Inverter. Or is this is this Sultai? Yeah, Sultai Inverter. Basically, take the Inverter of Truth deck and add Uro. 
and Seder Wayfinder. Seder Wayfinder and Inverter of Truth is an interesting push-pull. But it was good enough for a 5-0. So that's... Here's a tweak on Inverter to take a look at. Lukadaki with blue uh, band control. And we've got just Dream Trawler and Uro's main. Six to fairies. Another Tamio here. Tamio in at least two decks at this point. So yeah, Bant Control. Andy C, 1986 with another Niv Mizzet list. This one has two Uros, no Tamios, three Neharis, four Teferis, three Chromatic Lanterns. That is an interesting tweak. I haven't seen that outside of Standard, to be honest, in a Niv Mizzet list. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Another take on Niv-Mizzet. Alex Fierro with Golgari Stompy. Three Heart of Kirins, a Shadow Spear main. Just one Questing Beast. But, yeah, this is a good, good old Golgari Stompy. Shatun with a 5-0 with Bant Spirits. And this is the kind of become the norm, the streamlined nine four buys and 24 lands. And uh, I mean, that's deck building 101 right there. And it's working well for this deck. JB Twist with Mono Red topping out at one Torbran. I don't see any other four drops and, and two Ember Cleaves. Uh, but yeah, get your Red Dead. Four, uh, you know, eight burn spells and two Ember Cleaves, which is almost a burn spell. Adeus, Adeus, with uh, a smaller green red deck than what we saw earlier. Green red Coco. Clothus, Ember Cleave, Ferocidons, Warboss, and Rabble Master. So, uh, yeah. A, a more aggressive Gruel deck than the one we saw first. Brasset 1, 2, 3 with Mono Green Walkers. This is the 4 Hydra build, or the 5 Hydra, I guess. 4 Voracious, 1 Genesis. Uh, yeah, that's a relatively stock build there. Benny Hills gets 5 0 with blue, uh, blue White Control. This one is much heavier on the Planeswalkers than what we saw before. Uh, three Gideons, an Elspeth. Uh, this is going for a little bit more on the enchantment removal path than the prior blue-white control deck, but here's another take on it for you. You know, Pick the one that matches your playstyle. Canister with In Soul, and he is running the blue-red version. This is not the four-color version. Mostly you can tell the difference. The, the primary difference between the two is the four-color version is running all that glitters in the main deck and four Fatal Push and four Thought Seizes inside. That's the black is the fourth color. So it's running everything but green. This is the more traditional blue-red build. Consuming Fervor is not... Oh yeah, this is the red um, Unstable Mutation. Okay. Yep. Knives 311 with Orzov Auras. Anything different in this one? Three Brain Maggot main is not something I think I've seen. Usually those are in the side. But yeah, straightforward build. Fun deck. Hyphen 68450 with... Is this a black-white mid-range or is this vampires? This is vampires. Soren, two Kaya main is different. I have not. That's what threw me off here. I've not seen Kaya in the main deck of Vampires before. Uh, three Blood Baron, nice. I like it. Can get put into play with uh, Soren on his his uh, minus. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a, another variant on black decks that I'd, I'd like to try sometime. Doctor of Time with a Gruel aggro list. This is the one, a tweak on the one I've run with Galia's and Atarka's command in Burning Tree Emissary and Bushwhacker. So this is kind of the Bushwhacker Gruel. Um, the lowest end of things, pretty much. This is the most aggressive I think you'll see Gruel in the format. Andrew Brown from Watsi is running... Is this Jeskai Heroic? What do we got going here? Oh, this is the white-blue uh, Devotion deck. Though he's not running any Devotion payoffs. So this is just Mono White Aggro splashing blue. Yeah. A little hard. It, it's, well, it's kind of, I guess it's white heroic. I don't know if I'd fully call this heroic, right? I mean, we do have seven heroic creatures in it. Monastery Mint. So, Monastery Mentor has struggled to find a home in anything, any format smaller than Vintage. One of the spots that I thought would be interesting to try it is in Boros Feather. And this is not a dissimilar deck. So maybe this is a home for Mentor? Um, I mean, the, the card it just feels like it should be so powerful, but it just never seems to pay off. So it, good to see a 5-0 here from Andrew. Uh, yeah, this is this is an interesting build. This is one I this kind of shoots to the top of my to playlist. I I know I say a lot. Oh, I'd love to play this, you know, and, and I mean my appetite is bigger than my stomach to be sure in the number of decks I actually get to play. But this is one I think I might proxy up with my son. I have most of the cards, and maybe I'll just build it, try it out with my son, and see uh, see how it goes. Tayobi 0440 with the more traditional inverter list. This is the straightforward Demir inverter. Two of the new Ashiox main is a new development, but everything else in it looks pretty stock. The Nard gets a 50 with a black. Is this black red Croxa list? Liliana the Last Hope, Croxa, Discovery Dispersal, Dreadbore, Thought Seas. This is a uh, kind of a black red mid range. Something that has historically never quite lived up to what you feel like it should be, but interest. This will be a build to watch and see where it goes. Marcello with. Heliod Ballista Combo, Mono White Devotion. The number one or number two deck in the format, depending on what metric you use. Most of them say number two, but it's right up there. Uh, yeah, you gotta have a plan for this deck if you're not playing it yourself. And even if you are, you need a plan for that deck. Uh, and we've got another blue white control list. A little more than normal today. This one with a search for his Kanta. That's not a card I've seen much recently. Commit to Memory. With Narset, okay. Um, it's obviously not plan A, but it's there if you want it. And draw it. Uh, but yeah, blue-white control. Mind over matter with our last list of the day. And what do we got here? Oh, this is the um, Indomitable Creativity deck. Yep. Saw this one last week. Just... Clever as all get out. Um, you're only creating creatures and or artifacts through other effects, whether it be tokens from uh, the Planeswalkers or uh, treasure tokens from Pirate's Pillage. Indominal Creativity, you sack them, you get any one of these win almost win the game on the spot creatures. Uh, Angel of Serenity is a triple Oblivion Ring. 
that's also a 5-6 flyer. Kologon gives them haste. Immercool, of course, um, is you know a 13-13 flample that can't be killed the turn it comes in. And Void Winterer probably shuts off their removal. Um, or at least sh shuts off anything with an even mana cost. So, uh, yeah, that's our list for today. We've got some, some interesting stuff in it. Uh, I definitely want to look at Andrew Brown's list, the almost heroic white splashing blue list. That one looked interesting to me. And the the black-red mid-range looked good. The um, What was the other one that I saw early on that looked interesting? Uh, it was not the control list. It was... The Sultai Inverter list looks interesting. Um, yeah. Good stuff today. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today, checking out the uh, Pioneer League dump. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Hit that bell so that you know when my next video comes up. And I will be... Hopefully, if it gets posted, uh, I will be doing a Modern League walkthrough tomorrow. If there is not a Modern League, I'm going to go back to the Pioneer League that was posted late in the day on Tuesday. I did not do a video on that one. I'll go back and look at that one. Uh, it had almost 40 decks in the list, so there should be some good stuff in there. That's about it. Talk to you soon. Stay safe out there.